Hello, I'm Maggie and I am getting married in 10 days. <sighs> How exciting. Um, I think this video will actually go up after our wedding, but I want to talk about the skincare routine and all of the treatments and the at-home skincare and all that fun stuff that I've been doing really since we got engaged, but I've made sure I've been very, very consistent with it and I'm happy with my skin. So I am not wearing any makeup today. I thought I would do this bare face so you can see my skin. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to share with you all of the things. I would say for me, I haven't done any special treatments. For example, I haven't gotten any, you know, facials or professional med spa type things. I've done everything at home and mostly with affordable products. I'm going to link all the products that I personally like and use down below in the description box in case you want to check them out, read other reviews, and maybe get them for yourself too. But um, I'm going to put some chapters too if you want to jump around. The first thing I want to talk about though is my skin. So I am 29 years old. I have oily skin with a little bit of congestion in my pores. I don't get a ton of active breakouts in like a whitehead style of breakout, but I do get quite a bit of congestion, especially on my chin. A little bit on my nose, not too bad, but really down here. Um, so that is kind of my big focus is going to be like exfoliating, BHAs, making sure that the texture of my skin. I do have a spot here that is healing, so it's still got darkness, but it's completely smooth. And that's something, you know, I definitely can have my makeup artist cover with concealer. I'm more so just worried about the texture and having as much of a smooth canvas as possible. So that is a little bit about my skincare. Like I said, most of this is kind of like Target, Ulta brands, not like the expensive side. I do have a few masks that are a little bit pricier from Sephora, but we'll get there. So how I stay consistent is I added a habit tracker on my phone and I have to check off, you know, AM skincare, PM skincare, and then weekly treatments. And just getting the habit of tracking off my habits, and I use it for other goals too, but it makes me think about it every day. And nighttime skincare is the one that I think I personally struggle with more than morning um, because in the morning I get out of bed and I do my skincare right away. I don't, I don't think about anything else. Even if I'm going to go for a walk middle of the day and come home and shower, I do it right away in the morning. And then after my shower, I might do it again. That's fine. But that one's fine. It's the evening skincare, especially on the days that I don't wear makeup because I think, oh, well, I don't have makeup on. Oh, I go through the whole routine and I've found that this habit checker really helps me do my skincare even when I could maybe talk myself out of it. So just a little tip. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the morning skincare routine. I'll put up on the screen here what my typical morning skincare routine consists of and then we'll talk through the different products here. So I start with a toner. I don't feel the need to actually use a cleanser in the morning. The toner works really well for me. So my favorite toner is from Thayer's. Um, this is the facial toner, which hazel aloe vera formula. I have the rose petal scent. I know that this comes in other scents and maybe even unscented as well. Um, but this just works really well. I have reusable cotton rounds. I put a little bit of this onto, I swipe it over my skin and it just makes my skin feel kind of refreshed, awakened. It gets any oil and any sweat dirt off of my skin from the night of sleeping and tossing and turning and all that good stuff. So I love this. Um, it works really well for my skin. I've never had any irritation from it. And this is the second bottle I've purchased and I plan to keep purchasing it. It's really great. So as that dries, I will put on lip balm and I consider lip balm to be part of skincare. I like the EOS lip balms, whatever scent here, I'm not too picky. And then as that's kind of um, drying down still on my face, I will do my eye cream. So in the morning, I like a lighter gel-based eye cream. My favorite one is from Good Molecules. It's the Yerba Mate wake up eye gel. This is like my third or fourth tube of it. Um, it's just a really nice consistency. It feels fresh on the skin. I've never had issues with it, you know, playing poorly with makeup. It just works really well for me. I don't find that I need a lot of it. It spreads pretty quickly on my skin. Like it's not gonna kind of pull. It just, it really glides on and it makes me feel a little bit more awake in the morning. So then after my eye cream, if I have anything to treat on my skin, that's what I'm going to do my spot treatment. I think 
Um, picking out a spot treatment that you think works for you um, is great. I use this one morning and night when I do have something kind of more active on my skin. This one is from Dermalogica. It's the Clear Start Breakout Clearing Booster. I know that there's a lot of ones out there, so I think just whatever works best for you. But having a dedicated spot treatment makes me feel better that I'm actively trying to, you know, clear it up with a little bit more. Does it work? I like to think it does, but I'm not going to test not using it either at this point. So the jury is out, but um, I like to think it works, so let's hope it does. Okay, so then moving into my morning serums, something I added about four months ago into my morning skincare routine is a BHA. So this one is from Turium. It is the Salicylic Acid Serum 2%. Um, I really love this. It doesn't burn. It doesn't sting. It doesn't do anything like that. It's just a clear liquid. I massage it on my face and this has really helped with my blackheads, sebaceous filaments, pore congestion in general. I feel like the texture is very noticeably different when I started incorporating this. I used to use in the evening time an AHA BHA mixed serum from Good Molecules and I really like that. And then I switched to something different that's just an AHA and I noticed that I needed a BHA still in my life. So I decided to put it into the morning. Like I said, for my skin, it doesn't cause any issues. It feels nice, so I just massage that on. Um, and everything I do, I kind of pull under my jawline and down to my neck a little bit too. But this has definitely helped, again, with that congestion. So I highly recommend that. Then I use a vitamin C serum. I've been using a vitamin C serum for years in the morning. I just absolutely love it. This is my go-to. I always go back to it. It is the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. It has hyaluronic acid in it as well. So it just offers a little bit more kind of hydration and moisture into my skin in the morning. I love how it feels. It's very easy to blend into my skin. Um, and this I'll bring down again, my chest, back to my hands, that kind of thing. So love this. This one is a two ounce bottle. What I found a lot of times is that um, the price of this versus the price of another vitamin C is the same, but this is a two ounce and other ones are one ounce. So I always go back to this one. I think it's a great steal. And the other thing I love about it was when you can't pump anymore, the lid actually comes off. I know that there's a lot of skincare products where you can't actually get that lid off, but you really can get everything out of this when you want to finish it all the way up. So love that. And then the last step is an SPF. So now that we're in warmer months with my oily skin, I like a fluid SPF. I've been using the Naturium um, SPF 50, the UV Reflect Antioxidant. Really, really like this one. I'm almost done with it. This has been awesome. Highly recommend that. And that's it for my morning skincare. I know that there's technically seven steps, but it goes by really quick for me. Um, I feel like I'm able to, you know, do my whole morning routine with brushing my teeth and skincare and all that fun stuff pretty quickly and adding in the BHA really hasn't slowed me down much. You know, it's just one extra step and it's working really well for me. So that is what I do every single morning. Switch into evening skincare routine here next. All right, so the next I have the evening skincare routine and I'll put up here what that typically looks like for me. Um, so the only change here is if I'm wearing makeup or not. If I am wearing makeup, then I'll do a double cleanse. If I'm not wearing makeup, I just go in with my normal cleanser. So let's go ahead and talk through the products. My favorite cleansing balm is from Good Molecules. It is the Instant Cleansing Balm. It is such a great product. I find that this becomes like the thinnest oil once you, you know, kind of warm it up. And I just, I love it. You don't need a lot of this. So I'll um, rub that over my skin, remove my makeup, especially my mascara, eye makeup, brow pomade, all that fun stuff. And then I use a makeup eraser to really get it all off. I just find that it works well for me. I like the softness of the cloth. So that's what I choose to use. You definitely don't have to because you are using, you know, a balm as well, but that's what I like to use and it removes everything on that first round. I never feel like I have to go back in to remove makeup a second time. Then the second cleanser I use is from La Roche-Posay, and this is for normal to oily skin. So this is specific to my skin type. Um, this is the Tolerain Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I absolutely love this. I have repurchased it. I also find that I don't need a lot of this to really kind of suds up and make a nice like lather for my skin, but it removes everything without feeling stripped or dry afterwards, which is what I'm looking for. Because if I feel stripped or dry, then my oily skin is going to produce even more oil and that's not what we're looking for. So this leaves me very comfortable and um, this bottle has lasted me quite a while too. So that's also a bonus. Next, I do eye cream. So in the evening, I use a retinol eye cream. This one is from Inky List. So I just put a little bit of this around my eyes, kind of 
dab it in, um, massage a little bit on my temples. It always feels good. And that is kind of what I do for the eye treatment just to kind of keep things, you know, hydrated and a little bit fresh. I don't know if there's enough retinol in this particular formula to really make a difference, but I like to think so. So let's just hope it is. Next, I will do a spot treatment again, same one that I use in the morning, I use in the evening, I don't feel like I need to have a different one. Um, and this is just again targeted at any areas of an active breakout or even one that is still in recovery. So I use that just, you know, usually on my chin, but in targeted areas. And I will also put on my lip balm again, same one from the morning. Then we get into serums and this is where I rotate. So for a long time I did skin cycling on a three day cycle where I did a um, exfoliating serum, I did a retinol, and then I did a recovery night. And I was able to do a three day cycle. I know a lot of people start on a four day cycle with two recovery nights. I no longer feel like I need a recovery night with my skin. It can tolerate it. So I just alternate. When I use an exfoliating serum, the next day I use a retinol and I just go back and forth. The exfoliating serum I like is this one from Naturium. This is a glycolic acid resurfacing gel 10%. Like I said, I previously used one that was an AHA and BHA from Good Molecules, and I really love that too. In the future, I could see myself repurchasing it. This is what I'm using right now, so this is just an AHA, but it really does a great job. I love how big the bottle is. It's three ounces um, for a pretty affordable price, so I will slather this down my neck and get everything just really nice um, and covered. It's also very thin, which I enjoy. So I use this one night. The next night then I would use my uh, retinol. I just upgraded to the Inky List 1% retinol serum as opposed, I was just using their regular retinol serum which I infer is a lower percentage. Um, I'm really enjoying this. I haven't had any issues with it, but everybody's skin type is different and what you can handle or not. So this is the one I've been using. I absolutely love it. Again, I kind of apply it all over, um, a little bit down my neck as well. and. I just have been seeing great results with this and keeping my fine lines at bay. So that has been great. And then the last step in my routine is a plain moisturizer. I don't like any moisturizers with actives in it because I'm already using actives in my serums. So the moisturizer that I'm using right now that it's warmer is the Trader Joe's Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. I love this. It's super, super nice. It's kind of a whipped gel consistency. It's cooling on the skin and it offers just enough moisturization for me. Now in the winter, I really enjoyed either the um, Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer or the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer. Those work too. They're a little bit more emollient than a true gel-based moisturizer. So I used them in the winter time when I felt like my skin just needed a little bit of extra um, moisture. But now that we're warmer, I'm back to this. So that is really it for my evening skincare. So I'm cleansing, I'm picking one serum for the night, and then I am moisturizing and that's kind of it. So that is my normal evening routine. Next we'll talk about the special treatments I do once a week or so. All right, so once a week we do a spa night is what we call it, which is really just face masks on the couch while we watch a movie, but it is kind of fun. Um, so my fiance does this with me and um, I kind of have his own little routine going, but we'll just talk about kind of in general what we do. So on those nights we will do either one or two face masks. It kind of depends on the mask that I'm doing. So our favorite mask is the Herbivore Blue Tansy. This is a brand new one because I just finished up the one that we have been using. I have loved this product for years. This is from Sephora, so it's a little bit more expensive, but for me, I actually don't mind spending a little bit more money on a treatment because it lasts, you know, I'm using it once a week and I really see results from this. So this has AHA and BHA in it, so it's going to exfoliate the surface as well as going into the pores and kind of dissolving what's in there. So this is fantastic. I use an old foundation brush to apply it so it feels super, you know, luxurious like you're at the spa. And so if this is the mask that we're using, um, then we'll just sit with this on for 10 to 20 minutes and rinse it off and go into an overnight mask. So I'll talk about the overnight mask in a moment, um, but this is kind of our favorite. On other weeks, so it's not necessarily like every other week, it just kind of depends on what I feel like my skin would benefit from the most. So if I'm having a little bit more active breakouts, then I will do a clay mask. And in that case, I will do a clay mask and then follow it up with a more moisturizing mask and then my night mask, just because I feel like I need a little bit of help kind of rebalancing before the night mask when I do use a clay mask. This is the clay mask I have right now. It's from Coco Kind. It's the CKO clay mask. I really enjoy it. I love that it's in a squeezy tube so I can pull out exactly what I need without worrying that the inside's going to dry out. I've had like 
jars of um, clay masks in the past that have dried out earlier because they're just exposed to more air. So I really love this packaging. This works well for me. It's not the most drying, like sucking everything out of your skin clay mask that I've ever tried, which is great. Uh, so this works pretty well for me. And like I said, though, I still follow up with a more moisturizing mask. So I'll put this on for maybe 10 minutes, rinse it off. And then I have got two more moisturizing masks to kind of shout out. This one from Bliss, the Mighty Marshmallow Mask. We just finished this past week. So um, it is all gone, all gone, a fresh empty. Um, but this one worked really well just again to kind of balance, add a little bit of moisture into the skin and kind of make things not feel as tight after a clay mask. So didn't really use this as often after the blue tansy mask, maybe in the depth of winter when our skin just felt drier, I put this on us. But typically I just follow this up after the clay mask. Now, another moisturizing mask we enjoy is from Peter Thomas Roth, the um, cucumber gel mask. I like to get little samples of this when I can from, you know, Point Perks or whatever uh, samples because this works really well. This is also great in the summer for like if you've had too much sun and you need to kind of cool down your skin, but this also works well after the clay mask. I just wanted to mention that. Okay, so then we go into Night Mask, and I got this as a sample. This is from Pharmacy. It's a 10% niacinamide night mask. So this is what I've been using, and I really enjoy it. I don't know that I'd purchase a full size right away. I kind of have enough to get me through, you know, the wedding and everything, but this has been great. So um, instead of doing my normal skincare routine on Sundays when we do the face masks, this is what I put on my skin. So I'll do this everywhere else instead of all of the serums and, and moisturizers. So this kind of takes its spot, but this has been really good for me. I feel like it's helped with my skin brightness and also evenness of my skin texture. So this has been great. Definitely happy that I gave it a try and I didn't have any negative reactions to it. Oh, and I also forgot to mention for spa night, we also do these um, eye gels. These are from Good Molecules. I love that it comes in like a container. So there are 60 eye patches in here, so 30 sets, and it's $18 for this jar. I just love that it doesn't have the individual packaging. So we typically keep this in our fridge. We'll use them whenever, you know, in the morning if we want. But on spa night, especially, we make sure that we always put these on. So these are great. They're just a clear um, eye gel. They come in here, you know, you just kind of pull them out. They're in a really nice serum and they just feel good on the skin. You know, I don't know if they really make all that difference, but it's part of the experience. So definitely recommend these. And I think it's pretty affordable for getting 60 eye gels. So, okay. The other thing I wanted to talk about is two scrubs. So I know that physical scrubs are a little controversial, I personally like the option of having a physical scrub, so I keep this in our bathroom and I will use it in the shower if I'm going to use it. I would say I use it one to two times a month, but not not like on a certain schedule, just when I feel like I need it. If I feel like I've got a lot of congestion and just need to get kind of that top layer off, then I'll use it. This is from Versed. It is the Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. It is super duper fine and you don't need a lot of it. So I'll just get, you know, kind of like a dime size amount and lightly massage it onto my skin without really putting pressure on my face. I just kind of let my, my fingers rub past and let the scrub do the work. So I like having this option. Like I said, I'll use it in the shower maybe once or twice a month if I feel like I need it, um, but it's not something I'm using so consistently. I'm not too worried about it. My skin can obviously take quite a bit of exfoliation from the retinols and the serums that I'm using, so this is not a big deal for me. The other thing I do once a week or so is a lip scrub. This one is from NCLA Beauty. It's the Sugar Sugar Lip Scrub. This one is really nice. It's got a little bit more moisturizing properties to it, so it's not just raw sugar like the Lush ones. So I've been enjoying this. Um, I admittedly use this more in the winter when I have more like chapped dry lips than I have this spring, but I'm still trying to reach for it, you know, a couple times a month just to kind of keep things nice, soft and smooth. Um, especially now that I'm leading up to the wedding, I'll probably do a couple of lip scrubs before then just to make sure that my, you know, makeup goes on well, my lipstick stays on and looks pretty for photos. So want to mention that. So that is the kind of specialty weekly treatment I do. Um, the last thing I want to mention is body care. Real quick, I wanted to mention a couple things I'm doing for body care because that matters too. My dress particularly is a like off the shoulder 
kind of like strapless dress. So I'm concerned about keeping, you know, my chest and like my shoulders nice and clear. Um, I do get acne on my shoulders and like behind my neck on occasion. So that was something I wanted to be consistent with. So what's worked for me in the past when I had a lot of acne is the Body Shop Tea Tree line. So this is the Tea Tree Toner. There's like powder at the bottom, you shake it up, and I just use this every single morning on a reusable cotton on and swipe my shoulders, my back, and kind of around my um, like front here just to make sure that there's nothing cropping up on my skin, and it's worked really, really well for me. So I wanted to shout that out if you kind of have body acne concerns um, or just want to make sure that nothing crops up. This has been great, and it's just like a quick step to do a toner. I do it in the morning after I do my rose toner. I will then quickly swipe this on, you know, my shoulders and back. And then another concern for me is I have KP on the back of my arm, so I've been working to smooth that area. I can't do a ton about the redness, but I do some exfoliating. So um, once a week, I use a body scrub in the shower. I like the Tree Hut scrubs. They're affordable, and they have all sorts of fun scents. And then after the shower, I use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. If I didn't already have this, I probably would just use the Naturium 10% Glycolic Acid Serum. They're basically the same thing, you know, um, but I do already have this. So I use this on cotton rounds and I just swipe it across my arms. Um, here, I also have some texture right here on my forearm. So I just hit those spots after a shower. Um, whether I've used the scrub or not, I just do it after every shower. And that has kept my skin's texture on my arms a lot smoother. Like I said, there's still a little bit of redness there and I can't do a ton about that. But the texture, at least when you touch it, it's it's a lot smoother than when I'm not on my game with this treatment. So this is also something that like once you stop doing it, it comes back. But if I can be consistent with it, I do notice a lot of results. So that is everything I've been doing for skin prep for my wedding and honeymoon, I guess, too. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and this was helpful. I would love to hear from you down below what your skincare routine is as you're prepping for a big event, whether it be, you know, a wedding or something different. Uh, love to hear if you have any special treatments you do before a big event. That would be kind of fun to hear. So let me know in the comment section. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.